Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I am showing you my Disney sketchbook. Lately I have been interested in urban sketching. So on my last trip to Disney I thought I'm going to take a little notebook with me. This is a moleskin watercolor book and do some sketching around Disney and on my trip. Now ideally I thought I can sketch when I see things and then finish it off at night but that wasn't reality. So I started on the plane and when I was on the plane I was able to actually do these two drawings and color them on the plane. I had taken a pencil eraser and then um, some micron pens. I took 01 and um, 05 little thin pens and I chose these because they are waterproof archival ink pens. And then I had done taken some pencil crayons with me in a variety of colors to do my watercolor pencils to do the painting. And I even wrote out my journaling. And then the trip started and I completed the next two pages about three days later. So as you can tell, I got behind very quickly because when you're on a trip, you don't always have the time to sit and draw depending where you are and what you're doing. So what I did after that was I would write down on each page what it was I wanted to put on that page. And then when I had some time that I was sitting waiting or by a pool or that, I could go back and sketch what I needed to sketch. From here on out, these were all painted at home once I got home. And I ended up switching from the pencils to using a watercolor palette. So here we have some more of my sketches from the Bahamas and on the boat, some fireworks um, from the island. Now we're back at Disney. So some of these sketches, this book has about 60 sketches in it and about 15 of them I ended up doing at home. For example, this castle, because it was so complicated. I'm like, I need to have a table. Most of these sketches were drawn in my lap while I was sitting at a pool or in a lobby or that. So there were some sketches that were more complicated that I'm like, I need to sit at a table and concentrate to work on them. Now this bus stop is actually the first one I actually did while I was sitting there. We had missed our bus and it was going to be 20 minutes so I had the time to sit and I drew it with pencil. Not, I inked it, all these pictures once I got home and uh, painted them. But it was the first one I actually did sitting there. And so by that point I had all these things written here of what I wanted to sketch. This one as well, I um, this is at Fort Wilderness and I did that one while I was sitting there and then I was on a boat when that one was taken and then in a bar this is at Trader Sam's um, that was at a roller coaster at night and but by in the evening I would also go back and um, catch up with some of them as well this one I did while I was waiting to meet Alice and the Mad Hatter and then this was small world so there's no way you can do it while you're on a boat. So I would just snap pictures and then when I had the chance go back and draw them. This one I did, it's an egg at the Grand Floridian and most of it I did um, when I was in front of the egg. And this one was at the pool so I did that one while I was sitting at the pool and then I caught up on some of my other sketches as well. the grand. Now we're at the animal kingdom. Here's another one I was able to do while sitting in the lobby of the animal kingdom. This one, even though it's this detailed, I actually did it um, at a pool on my lap. <laughs> and the other thing you have to be, you don't have to be worried about is straight lines. Like you can see I have wobbly lines. It's a little sketch. You, you're not using your ruler and making it all exact. And then I left this here just so you can see, I'm not sure if, but I had written Japan and Epcot monorail. 
So I knew what I was going to be filling in. And I actually did both of these once I got home. This one was my beignet. I haven't painted it yet, but I did that while I, we were sitting in France. We uh, went for a morning and had some breakfast and just sat there and we used the time to uh, draw and relax and take in Epcot. Now we're at the studios. This is gonna be fireworks up here. But this is my first time doing a project like this. Um, I, don't, I haven't done a lot of sketching in the past. So it was a great learning experience. It's also my first time watercoloring in more like a, a realistic picture, not just using watercolors um, for background techniques. So it's learning how to use the medium. So I'm gonna go back over here. And for example, this first one here, I wanted that nice rich red. So it was learning how do I get the rich red or those rich blues using um, watercolor paints or this blue. So I might have to free up a bit and not worry about the richness and just, you know, enjoy the qualities that watercolors have. But it's going to take me a while to still paint in all these pictures. So it didn't happen as quick as I thought on my trip. But I still like the book and I like what I did. And I think next time what I might do is just take a bit larger of a book and not so worry about journaling our trip in terms of telling a story, but just to pick some things and do pictures and play with the watercolors more. But it just, whenever you do something different, it keeps your creative juices going. And um, I'm always looking to learn something new. So I really enjoyed this and it might be something you want to consider on your next trip or even not even on a trip. Just get out in the city, draw your house, draw your neighborhood, draw your city or town and just try doing some little sketches of things around you and it might just um, open up some more creativity in you as well. So I hope you enjoyed my little Disney sketchbook. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye bye.